Hey everybody, welcome back to Retro Tech. Today I've got a special short video for you. I recently restored yet another 14 inch Sony PVM and this one is quite unique. And I do have some good news. I will be actually listing this PVM for sale on eBay and it will be a 10 day auction. And I'm gonna be starting off the auction price at $99 and then anybody can bid on that if you are in the continental United States, so the 48 states of the United States of America, you'll be free to bid on this. But let's just go ahead. I'm going to tell you a little bit about this monitor that I had to piece together. First off, you'll see it behind me on this video. It is a Sony PVM. It's like a 14M2, and it's more like the medical variant. That's why it's got the white shell. Now this one has a 600 TV line, high resolution Trinitron tube. It supports 240p and 480i resolutions only, and that is analog video. It does have a single mono audio speaker that is supported for audio on the monitor. Now it will support multiple inputs and multiple regions, so you can get PAL support as well as NTSC and other regions. If you look at this particular unit, it is very clean. I found one of the cleanest medical 14 inch shells that I could, and I used it for this build. And there's even some cool little things on this particular shell that make it unique itself. One being the stamp on the back that says property of Miami University, that is on the side shell. And again, this one is free of pretty much any dings and scuffs. Uh, and then there's this little metallic uh, serial plate up here in the upper left hand corner, right here in the middle of the screen, that says Miami University. And that's also an inventory tag. So uh, the monitor is extremely clean, as you can tell. Now, when you're looking at the front down here, there is one thing I want to point out. This Sony emblem on the front is a reproduction. And I've done a video in the past about these, but you could get this reproduction on eBay. It is still metal and it's high quality, but it is a reproduction and it is applied on there properly. So it's not going to come off or if it does come off, you can easily put it back on. But there's another look at our Miami University tag. Uh, again, a 600 line TV monitor, the medical variant. So you're going to have a very nice set of uh, high quality buttons. You do get a service menu on this monitor and all the great features that came with that M series. And let's just take a look here quickly at the back. We've got composite inputs. We've got S video support. We've got component and well, as well as RGB with uh, different types of sync support on this monitor. There's two switchable inputs. There's a top input, which is in use right now, that has an output available. And then there's a bottom secondary input right under that that is labeled B. So this one has two inputs for RGB, so those are switchable. And that's really good because then you can put one to component and then one over to um, RGB and have it set up for use like that. Now I want you to notice I'm going to start going into some of the hardware here that are specific for this monitor because I just used the best hardware that I had available. If you notice the uh, when you hit status on this uh, menu here, it says OEV143. Now that is a 14 M2 medical variant. Again, that is a uh, uh, but that one's from an Olympus monitor which is the same thing as the 14M2 uh, medical variant, but instead it's an Olympus OEV-143. The positive thing is that is a later produced uh, monitor. So you're talking after the year 2000 was when that board was actually made. And I'm going to let you see some of the calibration screens here. We've got red, green, blue. I like to show the specific screens of color so you can see that everything's working properly. I'll also show off some of the um, geometry grids and linearity checks, which are important uh, to check out because I did recap this monitor. I recapped the A board, which controls the geometry. There's about 20 caps in that cap kit. 
and then I recapped the entire uh, power supply unit. So you should really have no troubles with any kind of cap leakage or cap problems. I went inside as well and cleaned the boards very well. Um, there's also a new tube in this monitor. So this one's actually got a replacement tube. I took it from a uh, newer monitor that was from the year 2004 that was an L series that was taken out of service very early and uh, for all accounts had extremely low hours, much lower than the original tube that was in this uh, shell. Now what I've got on screen right now is a pattern of just solid white lines and I just wanted to show that I have checked and calibrated the convergence and that's what this little tool is showing you how that is in line with uh, the red, green and blue and you've got a pretty tight line there all over the screen. I really did take a lot of time in setting the convergence properly, at least as best within spec on this monitor. Because again, it was a new fresh tube, so I was able to get in there and um, place the yoke. Now, we'll have full video coming of the details on this whole restoration, but this is just to show you this monitor in case you're interested in uh, being involved in this auction. And you've been looking for a monitor that has no issues and that will last you for a very long time because I can't constantly get people on e uh, you know messaging me and emailing me where they're having troubles with eBay sellers. They might get a good deal on a monitor, but um, they end up really getting damaged in shipping or they don't know how to adjust them. And, and sometimes if you get too damaged in shipping, it's not fixable most of the, you know, if you get a lot of damage, unless you're really skilled uh, and, and uh, highly uh, experienced with board and sockets, uh, you know, uh, basically with circuit board repair. So again, I'm just going to have some gameplay footage. This is from the screen. And um, there is uh, a bundle for this sale. It includes a power cable as well as a SCART to BNC adapter. So you will be able to take this, get it out of the box, and you'll have a power cable as well as your BNC adapter right out of the box. You'll be ready to go and start playing right away if you have either um, any type of those uh, consoles or anything that you want to hook up to this monitor, you can hook up anything that's composite and uh, anything that has S-Video as well. And it looks great on this monitor. Uh, so again, I just can't say enough about how good this rebuild came out because again, I took the best parts that were compatible with each other and put them all together to make what I feel like is a, uh, a perfect 600 line uh, monitor for a 14 inch RGB monitor that that only supports you know 240p and 480i. I mean, ideally, it would be nice to do this with a, uh, a 14L5, but then you're going to talk about definitely costing a lot more money. So again, the auction will be on eBay, and it will be a 10 day auction that will be premiering at the same time this mo this video will be launched. So you'll have a 10 full days from the release date here. There will be a link below in the description to go and uh, check out the auction. So again, you can go there, take a look at the auction, put it on your watch list, bid on it, share the auction. If you know anybody who's looking for a high quality monitor and really wants something that's going to be good and lasting, because again, I can guarantee everybody knows with, if you've been with the channel for a while, every month or so, I put out videos about shipping these monitors. So, you know I know how to ship them, so I can guarantee shipment and pickup is also available. Now look, this is pretty much a value of over $500 here with all the different parts I use and the caps and the cap replacement, the time I have put into this monitor would normally make it well over $500, especially with the cables included. But again, I'm going to be starting this auction at $99. Now there is going to be packing and shipping. Uh, fees that are extra on there that will be detailed in the listing. But as far as the price for the starting of the auction, it's going to be $99. So thanks again, everyone. I really appreciate all the things you've done to help this channel grow to 4,000 uh, subscribers. And it's just been a really fun last 15 months. And again, just leave me a comment or question if you have one about this monitor specifically, and the link will be below. I appreciate everybody again for sharing and uh, liking this video. 
and I'll see you next time with some more retro content.